So people ask me if you can buy businesses, no money down whatsoever, right? And that's a common question in the space of buying businesses. And I guess that attitude comes a lot from the real estate space because there's a lot of promotions out there. Hey, come and buy real estate, no money down. And to begin with, I want to start with the idea that if you're not willing to take any risk in the space of business, of buying businesses, of starting businesses, it doesn't matter. If you're not willing to take risk, uh, then potentially uh, me, I don't want to probably work with you because being in business is risky. And unless you're willing to risk something, you probably shouldn't be an entrepreneur. Because whatever business you're getting yourself into, there is going to be some risk and you got to be prepared for that. And unless you're coming prepared to the idea that, hey, there's going to be risks involved, then you're just going to have that get rich quick mindset. And that's the last type of people I want to work with. I want to work with people who are committed to understand that, hey, we're talking about potentially buying here multi-million dollar businesses. So obviously there's going to be some risk involved. If there's going to be a risk in terms of money, if there's going to be a risk in terms of your time, if there's going to be a risk potentially uh, sometimes signing personal guarantees and giving personal collateral, um, is it necessarily 100% to do those things? No, but unless you're coming with the attitude that you're willing to put in that risk, and sometimes that risk can just be time alone. I mean, for many people who come to me, um, some people have a lot of money and then they can leverage that money and use potentially less time. But if you don't have any money whatsoever, then you'll need to risk more of your time and put in more work to do deals that that person who have more money will have it easier to close those deals. And I hope that makes sense. Can you buy businesses with putting no money whatsoever to buy those businesses? Yes, it's possible, but that's not the attitude you should have because those deals were no money involved whatsoever. I'm talking, and I'm, when I'm saying money, it's not necessarily need to be your money because uh, it depends on how you look at it. No money at all. Some people will call going out there and raising other people's money as no money down deal, right? So it depends on what you refer to as no money. To buy a business, many times, especially if you want to buy a good, established, profitable business, you need some money. Is it necessarily your money? No, you can go out there to financial institutions and get that money or to other financial partners to get that money. If you're raising debt, then you don't need, you don't need to be diluted. If you're raising equity, potentially you need to be diluted as the, a, a shareholder in that business. But there's going to be, if you want to buy a good profitable business, there's, there's going to be money involved somehow. If it's your money or someone else's money. Can you buy a business with no money whatsoever? Yes, those are deals are possible, especially nowadays. I mean, there are millions of baby boomers looking to retire every single day and they are looking for someone who's committed like you to buy a good business. Can you get to a point where you pay no money whatsoever for those businesses? Yes, it's possible. And that's what we call some kind of a 100% seller financing deals where you literally pay 100% of the deal over time using the business cash flow to pay back the payment the, the basically the purchase price for that business are those deals going to happen 100 percent of the time for you no but you as long as you're okay with that heck even if it's going to happen one out of ten good deals that you're working on one out of ten of those sellers will tell you tell you yes is it worth to put in the time and talk to potentially more businesses i think it does um for someone who have money to put in or is able to, able to raise capital from other people, then that person will be able to do more deals than someone who just coming to the table saying, hey, you know what? I'm not willing to raise any capital. I don't want any debt in the business. I just want zero at closing or one dollar at closing for the official terms. And I, I want no risk whatsoever. Um, is it possible? Yes. I mean, I can tell you personally, I'm getting tons of deals every week coming to me and I can buy those businesses for one dollar down and that's all. Not even a future payment, not saying. I'm talking about businesses, business owners who literally want to give their businesses away for whatever reasons, right? There are tons of reasons for them to do that. Are those businesses the best businesses out there? Um, depends for who you're talking to. I mean, for some people to have that kind of business, even if it's a set, I mean, some of those businesses are seven figure businesses in sales doing, let's say a business doing 2 million in sales, but they're not really profitable. But for someone who's willing to put in a lot of time to turn around that business, to work hard in that business, that can be an amazing deal that he's not just got for free for literally one dollar down. For me personally, I don't want to be involved in those deals right now because there's too much work involved compared to the upside that is possible. 
I'd rather put more time into finding the right deal and potentially even have more risk um, because potentially I'm raising capital from other financial institutions or other financial partners, but the upside can be insane. I mean, the, the capital event that you can have from those good, good businesses, I'm talking about seven figures. You can have, um, if you watch some of my reverse exit videos, you, we're talking about multiple seven figures that you can have literally within a few weeks if you know what to do and you find the right businesses and you have the right exit strategy in mind from day one. So is it possible to buy businesses no money down whatsoever? Yes, it is. You can go out there, raise capital, use the business assets as collateral and sign no personal guarantees. Sometimes those financial institutions will ask to sign personal guarantees. Obviously, it depends on the type of loans that you're getting, depends if and how you know how to position yourself and negotiate those strategies and those terms with those financial institutions. But you gotta be willing to take in risks if you wanna be an entrepreneur. I don't care if you start a business or you wanna buy a business, there's risk involved. There's a risk to be alive nowadays. I mean, I can go out right now and be dead and you won't have any videos to watch after this one. So you got to be okay with the idea of taking some kind of risk. Obviously, it depends on what your situation in life. For some of you guys, you have a lot to lose. For some of you guys, you have nothing to lose. You're just, you're, you're young. You, you have no, you don't have much assets to lose. And that's why you need and should be okay with taking more risk. For those of you who have um, some assets and some, maybe you have family already, then maybe you need to double, think twice before you take in every decision, right? But you also need to, uh, I guess, be okay with some kind of risk because the upside can be amazing versus someone who's taking no risk. Those people who just go out there and have a job and have a consistent salary every month, um, maybe they have less risk because they work for someone else and they have a regular salary coming every month. Um, but in my opinion, nowadays, that's not even safe either. I mean, we all know about people who got fired from jobs that they worked 20, 30 years in. So is it less risky? I don't know. In my opinion, I'd rather be okay with taking more risk if the upside is better. Obviously, I need to take that risk and have some common sense, right? Realizing, okay, this is what I'm willing to risk. This is what I'm not willing to risk. This is where I will sign personal guarantees. This is where I won't sign personal guarantees. Even when you're signing personal guarantees, there are ways to insurance those personal guarantees. There are way to, ways to um, sign personal guarantees just on a small amount of the deal and not the full size of the deal. So you gotta be flexible. Obviously, you gotta have the right strategy and ideally have someone who can watch your back, who did those things already, who can open your eyes to what's possible, to what things you should do or shouldn't do. So overall, guys, no money down. You can definitely do those deals. But if you're coming from that positioning, that mindset of, okay, I want to buy businesses, no money down. And that's all. Um, I just don't like those people because they're kind of like looking to get rich tomorrow. They're, they're looking to get be billionaires tomorrow. And unfortunately, guys, if you never made more than like some of you guys come to me, they never more, made more than like 30 grand a year. And they're telling me that they want to be a billionaire next month. I'm sorry, guys, that, that probably won't happen, right? And maybe you know someone who can help you get there. I don't. If you, if, if you know someone, tell me. If you, you know someone who can teach me how to be a billionaire within two, three weeks, please tell me. I'm going to pay him as well, okay? But if you're coming to learn from me and you're watching this video and you want to learn from me and work with me, uh, you got to be at least a little bit realistic about your expectations. So first year, have a goal. Let's do at least one deal. Let's buy at least one business doing at least seven figure in sales. That's very doable. I have people who bought three businesses in less than a year. All of them are seven figure businesses with a management team in place where they're basically stepping back and overseeing the business while someone else is running day to day. It's definitely doable. And we're talking about good businesses. Did uh, I mean those people who bought those businesses potentially needed to take some risks for some of those deals? Yes for some of those deals not for some of those deals They need to go out there and raise capital and potentially sign personal guarantees on those deals for some of those deals They didn't need to raise any capital and just were, were able to structure deals um, So they don't have any risk whatsoever and that's what I'm working with my students on having different deal structures, having around nine strategies on different deals and offers that you can make to a business so that you won't have risk. And maybe your first offer have no risk whatsoever, second offer have a little bit of risk, third offer have a bit more risk, and then you just have a sequence of offers that you can basically implement and send and 
you should be okay with yourself of figuring out, okay, the first offer is 100% awesome for me. Second offer is okay, so, so, but if, if the seller will accept, I think it's worth it. Third offer, maybe I have a little bit more risk. I need to think twice before I send that offer, etc. Et and so forth and so forth. But guys, have, have the know-how and understanding that being in business is risky, um, but I think it, it's as risky as having a job and buying an existing business is as risky as trying to grow a business internally, organically. I know people, especially B2B businesses, they're taking months to get one client. Guys, in that period of getting a new client, you can buy a business and the upside can be so much more because you're getting immediate access to more cash flow, more employees, more products. I mean, when you have a business and you grow one client at a time, I mean, best case scenario, just get yourself a client. Even if it's a six figure client, it's still just a client. When you buy a business, we're talking about a seven figure business. We're talking about an asset. We're talking about not an asset just in terms of revenues and profits, but in terms of other things in the business, right? So don't come to me uh, for get rich quick um, vibe. I just don't like that. I think that if you have that strategy, you probably still young in, not in terms of your age, but in terms of your experience in business. Because it's probably be, means that you just didn't go through enough shit. Um, sorry for my English. Um, and you probably need to go through more bullshit in your life to realize what business is and how it works. And understand that business can sometimes be brutal. And you need to be okay with that. That business is sometimes brutal, guys. It's difficult. It's challenging. I saw someone in my group saying to me, hey, I talked to, I sent 100 messages to 100 businesses and I didn't buy anyone yet. Well, uh, what strategy are you using to get in touch with those businesses? What questions are you asking those business owners? What strategies are you using to filter through your process to make sure that those are the best businesses you reach out to? Um, even then, what kind of offers you're making? What kind of financial institutions you have to back you up to do those deals? When you're sending one offer and someone is rejecting you, how soon you're giving up on Perhaps instead of going to the next business, maybe you can send a second or third or fourth offer. Are you following up? There are so many small details involved that if you're missing them, you're missing on amazing opportunities. And unfortunately, most people just give up at some point. Why? Because they came to this process, to this world of buying businesses to begin with, in the attitude and mindset of getting rich quick. And when you have that attitude and mindset, that won't work for you no matter what you do. Even if you want to be good at, I don't know, bowling, like, like go out there and, and try to play basketball. I don't know. Go out there and try to get better at anything. If you're coming with the attitude that you got to be the best tomorrow, that just won't work. But if you're coming with the strategy and understanding that, you know what, doing deals, buying businesses for a living is something that I can see myself getting excited and just enjoy doing even in five years from now or 10 years from now. Like for me personally, I like this space of buying businesses and I see myself doing this for the rest of my life. Like I see myself hopefully 90 years old and still doing this because it's fun. It's always challenging. Buying businesses is exciting because every deal is a new deal. Everything, every deal that you look at is a bit different because you're working with different people because there are different businesses involved different sizes, different um, assets, different employees, different everything. That's why I'm so excited about that. And I can see myself do that for the rest of my life. That's why I'm not worried about short-term results because I'm in this for the journey. And wealth will come on the way for you guys. If you're committed to the journey, results will be a, on, as, as, a, as a byproduct of you being committed to the journey. And being committed means being committed to the ups, to the downs, to the process of everything. It's like, you want to be in better shape, you got to be consistent. If you're going to work out for, even if you're going to work out for 30 days, every day for five hours, every single day on your diet, you're going to be perfect. Are you going to be better in 30 days? Yes. But if you're going to stop after 30 days, I mean, you're going to get back to point zero. And for some of you guys, you're just going to give up. You know what? I knew this, this working out stuff, this getting healthy stuff just isn't working for me. Uh, but is it really not working for you? You just gave up. You see what I mean? And same goes in business. And when you're coming with the attitude that, you know what, it's either working for me in the next 30 days or I'm just giving up, that won't work. But if you're coming with the attitude, you know what, this is what I want to do. I want to do this for the rest of my life. I want to be successful in business. 
I want to grow my existing business. I want to start my journey as an entrepreneur in buying businesses. I don't care what you're doing, whatever you want to do, come with the attitude that this is what I'm doing for the rest of my life. Like for me personally, there are things like in health, wealth, love and happiness that I'm like, you know what? There are a few things that I'm like, those are the results that I want. Those are the actions that I need to take in order to get to those results. And I'm committed for the rest of my life doing those things. And that's me in the space of buying businesses, investing in businesses, doing deals. Maybe the deals size and structures and, and criteria for deals that I've been involved will in be involved with will change over time. Is it possible? Yes, it's probably going to happen. Like I see my journey from the moment that I started in business until now, like things are changing just a little bit in terms of my strategy and my, the way I want to structure things um, in terms of my lifestyle, my income and my impact. So it's going to affect as long as it's going to bring me a better lifestyle, better income and better impact, then I'm going to walk through that, through that path. Right. And, are the deals going to be different? Maybe in five years from now, maybe in five years from now, I'm going to be, I don't know, I'll tell you, hey guys, you know what? I'm going to buy only farms or whatever sector or only AI, artificial intelligence businesses. Will that happen? Maybe, perhaps. And I hope that you'll be here in my journey to where I'm going to share that journey with you. But I'm, I know that I'm committed to the journey. Are things going to change throughout the journey? I'm going to have ups and downs and perhaps lose everything or win everything. I don't know, but I'm committed to the journey. And I know that in the long run, their journey is going to reward me back for being committed to it and enjoying the process. And I'm not looking at the, at the short term results. I don't care if that deal that I'm working on right now will be closed next week or not. I care about the overall results of enjoying the journey for the rest of my life. That's what life is about, I think. To enjoy whatever you're doing every day, to wake up and be excited about your work and be excited about the people you're gonna meet. And I think when you have that, results is a byproduct, guys. And you're gonna feel fulfillment and satisfaction from your work like nothing else. Because you are committed to the journey, because you are committed to getting results in the place that is getting you curious, that's getting you excited. And that's what I hope for you. And I know it's a bit all over this place, oh, this, this video, but yeah, I wanna, I wanna try to talk, do a few videos with kind of like no notes at all and see how that works and, and see what, what you guys thinking about that. Um, but um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this guys. And yeah, see for more free training somewhere below this video, we're gonna put some links uh, to get in touch with us to get some more free training. I, other than that, yeah, I really hope you got some value guys uh, and I'll see you soon.